Good morning. We are on day 70 in our journey with Jesus. And we're going to be looking at John chapter 1, the very end of the chapter in verse 51. And he said to him, that is Nathanael, Truly, truly, I say to you, you will see the heavens open and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. So here we have Jesus being a ladder between heaven and earth. That's one image. The other aspect of this is that it's also to be considered like a temple. Do you see that like um, this idea of Jesus being the center, our bringing together of heaven and earth is what a temple was supposed to do, bringing God together with man, a meeting place between God and man. And that's also another picture here. At first glance, though, in terms of this latter imagery, it might seem rather odd that Jesus gives to Nathaniel, who places his faith in, in him, this kind of imagery. It, Jesus is explaining to, to Nathaniel, however, what it means that he is the Son of God, the King of Israel. The picture of the heavens being opened and the angels of God ascending and descending alludes to Genesis 28, verse 12. Um, Jesus, or it's not Jesus, Jacob had a dream in which he saw a ladder with its top reaching to heaven and the angels were ascending and descending on it. At the top of the ladder is Yahweh. The angels, as in God Almighty, the angels come and go at God's command, doing his will on the earth. Jesus tells us that he, the Son of Man, is the ladder between heaven and earth. Now just note, it's interesting, as I mentioned before, that Jesus is being pictured like a temple. Um, Jacob clearly sees it this way, for he names this place Bethel, which means house of God. So very interesting just in terms of Jesus is showing that he is the temple, um, the temple of God. We see this also in John chapter 2, in the next chapter. Remember when he tells uh, the Jews, destroy this temple and I will rebuild it in three days. And he is talking there about the temple of his body, though the, the Jews misunderstood him and thought he was talking about um, the physical temple. But then also, this is Jesus' first use of the title Son of Man in the Gospel of John. And there, the Son of Man is Jesus is referring back to the Danielic Son of Man who will judge the world. And, but he is also the mediator between God and man. And so we, angels of God coming and, and going on this ladder show that we have access to God through Jesus. Okay, so the idea of serving God is serving, first of all, Jesus, as we see in Daniel 7, 13 and 14, that all the world, all nations, all peoples are in submission to the Son of Man. Jesus also indicates that access to heaven only occurs through him. This is that the, there's only one ladder, only one way to the Father, that is through Jesus, through this, through this ladder. It's similar to Jesus being the gate of the sheep in John chapter 10, verses 7 and 9, um, that we have access through him. He is the gate of the sheep. And then in John 14, verse 6, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Um, and no one comes to the Father except through him. So sometimes in evangelism, the cross is pictured as bridging the gap between sinful humanity and God. And this is true as long as we remember that it is the person of Jesus who is the actual bridge. He is the ladder, the gate, the way, the bridge. He is the life. He is the truth. He is even like going on to talk about the resurrection and the life. He is the good shepherd. He is the true vine. Life is only found in him. So no one comes to the Father except through him. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you've sent Jesus so that we can come into your presence. We can know you. You have bridged the gap, and it's only through the mediator, through the man, the God-man, Jesus Christ, your son. And we thank you that, Lord, you loved us that much that you would send Jesus. Jesus, we thank you that you loved us that much that you would lay your life down for us. You would suffer. Um, and Lord, we thank you that you're a living God and we now come to you. You are at the right hand of God uh, and you even, you welcome us and you intercede for us. So there's never a reason to think that our sin would keep us from God 
you provide the forgiveness. We need to come to you um, and receive your forgiveness. And we can always be in your presence. And we thank you, Lord, for your goodness. In Jesus' name, amen.